believed all men have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The government they formed would serve to secure those rights. But when corporations or other specialized groups of men become more powerful than those who govern, our security is at stake. Thomas Jefferson um, wrote about unchecked power of a corporation being a threat to the democracy the banks. and the banks. You see, the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank issues every dollar bill, yet it is not run by the U.S. government or any elected official. It is owned by a private banking cartel. But here I find that chairman of the Federal Reserve who's in charge of the dollar, in charge of the money. The Reserve Bank issues every dollar bill, yet it is not run by the U.S. government or any elected official. It is owned by a private banking cartel. But here I find that chairman of the Federal Reserve who's in charge of the dollar, in charge of the money, in charge of what the money supply is going to be. The middle class is being wiped out, and nobody's understanding that it has to do with the value of money. Prices are going up. So how are you able to defend this policy of deliberate depreciation of our money? Part, a lot of it depends on what happens to the price of oil. The four horsemen, or families of banking, who own and run the Federal Reserve also run the four largest oil companies. Oil is also used to make and run machinery and current mechanical technology. Of course, there's one industry, there's one industry that needs these more than anyone else. The military industrial complex. You begin to get into this uh, very scary scenario that has to do with the human condition of the proclivity to accumulate vast amounts of power around a handful of people. All right, sit down and shut up. And right now, these misanthropic sociopaths are running the planet into the ground. When, when uh, Congress or whatever else, or budget directors say, well, the, the, we, you know, we've lost $100 billion in black program, what does the public do? What can the public do? We can complain to our congressmen, but our congressmen can't get any information. With lobbyists, interest groups, Campaign funding, the economic powers that be, have learned to control the political sphere. And right now, these misanthropic sociopaths are running the planet into the ground. When, when uh, Congress or whatever else, or budget directors say, well, the, the, we, you know, we've lost a hundred billion dollars in black program. What does the public do? What can the public do? We can complain to our congressmen, but our congressmen can't get any information. With lobbyists, interest groups, campaign funding, the economic powers that be have learned to control the political sphere. These politicians become almost like placeholders. And they don't realize that until they get into the White House or into the Senate Intelligence Committee. It doesn't matter who the president 